Okay, so today I am going to try to make a pumpkin pie with this graham cracker crust. So you will need milk, nutmeg, vanilla extract, ground cinnamon, and some butter. I'm just going to try to tweak it like I would do a sweet potato pie. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so I have one can. I switched cameras. So I have one can. So, like I said, I'm going to try to do it like a sweet potato pie, but I did buy some pumpkin spice. Just in case it's not pumpkin enough, just I'm going to add a little bit. So, I'm about to add some nutmeg, cinnamon, and vanilla, and sugar. And I'm going to melt my butter down just a little bit, like one-fourth cup of butter. And then one, maybe one-half cup of milk. I so, I added, I actually added a little bit of some of this pumpkin spice, um, just for the taste. Like I said, I added my ground of cinnamon, nutmeg, and vanilla extract already, and I am about to add some milk. I added about that much milk, it's not a lot. I just add um, eyeball it when I do it, but I will put down in the description how much you would need. So, the recipe do call for a regular pumpkin pie for ginger. I don't think I'm not going to add the ginger. If you want to add ginger, you can. I'm about to melt one fourth cup of some butter, and then I'm going to add it, and then I'm going to mix it all up. Okay, I put I melted my butter already, and I about that much. I didn't even do one half or one fourth. I just I put it in the bowl, but I melted it, and I put about that much. You did that two tablespoons. Like two tablespoons mm -hmm. of um butter. I almost forgot that quick. I forgot to add regular sugar, so I'm about to just a half a cup of sugar. In this, because you want to make it sweet, you don't want to make your tart or whatever. About that much sugar. Okay, so I tasted it. I actually have some ground ginger. Added like a little sprinkle of that, and I actually had to go back in and add some more vanilla extract to really get it like you know what I mean, like that oomph. Like that little spiciness. But other than that, it's good. So I'm about to um put this filling in. We're going to use a graham cracker. So I'm going to put this filling in a graham cracker. Because this is a very quick video. So you don't need to do much. If you know, if you make sweet potato pie, you do it the same way. Unless you got a whole pumpkin. But as you can see, I used the can pumpkin. I mean, pumpkin in a can. Okay, so it says... Put your oven to 375 and um, put egg whites. But I think I'm just going to throw some butter up in here. <laughs> and because uh, I don't want to waste the whole egg. Um, so I'm going to um, put butter around the edges mm -hmm. and stuff. And I'm going to put it in the um, oven for like five minutes. And then I'm going to let it cool off and then I'm going to put my filling in. This is, okay, so I use butter. I did not use egg whites or anything like that. Um, so I'm going to let it cool off before I add the filling in. Because I'm just going to put it in there and then I'm going to cook it a little bit later. So I'm just pre-cooking the pie crust and everything now. <laughs> well, this is the finish. Um, excuse the sunlight coming through, but this is um, so far it's not finished. I just let my pie crust cool off before I put the pie filling in there, and then I'm gonna put this pie back in on 375 for about like uh maybe 25 to 30 minutes. That's it. Okay, so it's put in the oven. It is done. It actually smells good. It actually smells like a gingerbread. I don't know if it's because... Let me scoot it over some more. If it's because the... Ginger. You know, the ginger or the... What's that on this? Graham cracker. 
But it's a quick video. Hope you like it. Try it. I don't eat pumpkin, but my sister and my niece do. So this pie is for them. Thanks for watching.